And now for our feature presentation. So, so anyways, do you want to talk about Mario? Not anymore. Yeah, let's talk about <laughs> Mario. Um, let's talk about the Super Mario Brothers movie, which um, I thought was just called Super Mario Brothers, and I was like, it should be called the Super Mario Brothers movie, and that's what it is called. Mm-hmm. So that they definitely wanted to like distinguish it from the the older one, yeah, like the live oh, action yeah. one yeah. that was yeah. called Super Mario. Brothers. Isn't that in this room right now? Oh, I love that it's in arm's reach. <laughs> I love that it's always within five feet of him. I like that. He just watched it. It was in here. Oh, I know. That's what. Up, oh. up. Oh. There we go. Yes. Get it on the. No, that gets the good camera. Hold on, hold on. Oh, we got a little schmutz on it. This is dusty. Yes. There we go. Wow, it's a blast. <laughs> it's a blast. Yeah, uh, a very an intentional. Oh, they did do to it. Not put. The, the hyphens. Yeah. <laughs> but they made on. it a big, they made it a uppercase A. This ain't no game. It's a live action thrill ride. A uh, 60 second preview says eye popping special effects. I think your brother messaged. He yes. highlighted his message <laughs> just so he could write the word piss with six S's. <laughs> Good for um, good good use of of points. And it says right here. It says there's a quote from Roger Ebert. It says, "I wish I was dead. This movie sucks." <laughs> <don't you do." laughs> and that uh, I, uh, I was like, that, they put a Roger Ebert review. There's no way he in liked that, it. In that Roger Ebert, we agree. Now, <laughs> if everyone would shut the fuck up about me and my piss, <laughs> we can talk about the Super Mario Brothers movie starring Chris Pratt and Jack Black and various other Hollywood. Starlets, <laughs> who have uh, plagued the cast of this movie. Um, do you want to get? Do you want to get into the actor? Oh, you want? I see. Classic. Yeah, you go ask me. Would I drink my own piss? Yeah, <laughs> I'm ready. Um, Would you, Chris? Lightning to my thunder. What did you think of the Super Mario Brothers movie? You, you said this, and I think this is still where I'm at. Okay. I. I don't know. Okay. I. Then would you like me to start? Because I've been giving a lot of thought to what I think about this movie. My answer delves into the issues that I have with this movie. I'm trying to weigh the pros and cons. Mm -hmm. Mm Because there were some very delightful moments of this movie. There were some moments made to just piss me off. Like, not (laughs) not people like me. Me. No, Chris from Thunder Mighty Game. Yeah, there were aspects made to just piss me off. Can I ask a a question? Yeah. Uh, It's going to seem unrelated, but it's related, I promise. Of all the people in this room, how many of us have ridden the ride Splash Mountain from Disney World? Oh, I don't remember. I can't remember. I don't, I don't think know. I did. Okay, so <coughs> Splash Mountain is its going to be changed soon. Um, oh, to, to Tiana's like, to, Bayou to Adventure? To Princess and the Frog. Oh, but yeah, right. But it is currently and has been for the last, like, 100 years, Song of the South themed. Right. And that ride is essentially a slow, relaxing ride down a river. Um, and then at the very end, there's a giant, like, whoa, mm. psh, oh, it's crazy. We're all wet now. Um and assuming you're a big Song of the South fan, the entire time before that big drop, you're like, whoa, oh my god, look, it's, oh my god, look, that, and now it's, oh, look over there. That was this whole movie, was yeah. that part of that ride. I was just like, hey, there's the, oh, look, a Yoshi, oh, it's, oh, okay. oh, the cool, oh. Makes sense. I, I definitely hear that there, this movie took the time, effort, and care to do a lot of things, and that's where m- my divide is coming there were a lot of cool things, and there were some stupid and annoying things. And honestly, I think it all comes down to why Illumination. I think it all comes down to you picked the the wrong studio to make your movie. Yeah. 
Um, you really had, I think, since the Fox merger just happened, you had three options: Pixar, Sony, or DreamWorks. But you picked Illumination. <laughs> You had three options. You picked nothing. I meant besides yeah. Illumination. <laughs> no, oh, I, you had you had three options. Um, DreamWorks, I think, would have done a really I said good job. Oh no, I think they w- I think they would have been a good pick. I, I think, think they were still like sorry. I think they're still working on the the Trolls movie. Maybe right, too but busy. I, I know if we had to choose, I I I think I might have also picked DreamWorks. Um, Pauline, how did you like the Super Mario Brothers movie? I, I liked it. I, I actually like really liked it. Like I like I got I like. I'm like easily entertained, but like <laughs> I liked all the references. I liked the like. Here's my I don't know, like I thought that was gonna be a lot worse than originally, you know, planned. But like, like I thought it was good, you know. Like I like off the bat, like I knew like Illumination was gonna do. Like just looking at, at it visually, I was like, okay, like they're doing a pretty good job. I'm pleased with what I see. Um, uh, story wise, like they like. They couldn't pack every like minute of Super Mario Brothers history like into that film. There was no way it would have been like a week long film. Um, but they did a pretty good job of like doing all these references. Um, well, see, that's where the movie kind of loses me. Because yes, there was a ton of references, and I almost feel like it was at the behest of an actual story. Like I feel like the what story was presented in this movie was very. Uh, bare bones and listen i <clears throat> let me just say this before we continue i know it's a kids movie i know this but like i've seen plenty of modern kids movies that had like a lot of substance and made me feel onward. a lot of things onward i mean onward uh luca is the one that comes to mind for me soul do you remember yeah. soul but, with uh, with jamie lee fox but here's yeah, the of course here's a question though comparing this to sonic because they're they're like our tribals like so to speak mm. how would you compare this movie to sonic i thought sonic 2 was fucking way better than this movie yeah we're again just proving we're in universe b further <laughs> uh dc sucks in in cinema at least for now marvel's awesome sonic's awesome mario sucks uh is the vibe that i'm uh, that i'm getting it's in comparison to the sonic movie it's it's interesting that mm. you bring up sonic because sonic 2 the sonic the hedgehog 2 is I believe still as of this moment the highest grossing video game adaptation film. Uh, it's about to be. It's going to be eclipsed by Mario. Oh, this yeah. movie's made so much fucking money. Um, and I don't. I don't know. I don't know if it deserves it. I think Sonic Two is a much better movie. Just comparing this, uh, you know, not even talking about Sonic One, uh, because those two are kind of the movies that are like financially at at each other's throats right now. Yeah. Um. So it's interesting you brought that up because I was going to bring that up uh, as well because I have I have barely any issues with Sonic 2. And I have a few issues with the, the Super Mario Brothers movie that we're going to get into. Um, before we do, uh, Jimbo, how, wh- how did, what did you, having seen it minutes ago, <laughs> yeah. what, did you, what did you think of the Super Mario Brothers movie? Uh, it, was, it was really fun to watch. Um, I mean, like, my whole life I've been playing Mario games, so mm. it was really oh, cool. He's like, like he, I can attest that yeah. he's been playing Mario since yeah. he was, like, a baby. <laughs> yeah, but seeing all the, like, references was really cool. Um, I don't know, I was just smiling through the whole thing. But, yeah. like, I do get what you guys are saying about the story. It's it's really simple. Yeah. I mean, it does make sense to a kid's movie, and also Mario isn't really known for having that, you know, like complicated plot points. Right. I mean, it doesn't make any sense to. Like, I will say, do that. I do appreciate that it was Mario and Peach saving Luigi rather than Mario and Luigi, Luigi saving, saving Peach. Peach. Yeah, sure. They sure. did also um, take the uh, the wedding thing from Odyssey. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You know, the main <coughs> point in the game is yeah, you're trying to save her from the wedding. Right, exactly. Um, but yeah, the well, and his outfit. Oh right, yeah, 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 yeah outfit, outfits. Yeah. And um, yeah, I did like the twist. It was it was cool, but um, yeah, that's basically my point of yeah. point of view for it. So uh, I've got I w- yeah, I want to open the floor to <clears throat> why don't you start, Chris? What, okay. What are what are what are some things you did not like about this movie? Do you want to start with the big one? No, I I wasn't going to because I don't want people to think my entire conversation is based around that. Um. My secondary issue with this movie, <laughs> a lot of the references were super cool. I liked a lot of them. Oh yeah, see, I'm not saying, I'm not saying they weren't. 
Mm-hmm. I'm just saying they were plentiful. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, there there was an abundance. There was there was a, a huge amount of them. They tried too hard with the Mario Kart aspect of things. Yeah, I I, I do agree on that. There I, was that was prolonged. I just don't understand bit. why it was such a big part of the movie. Well, right, and like, also none into... of that is how Mario Kart works. Right, right, right. Not a bit of it was how Mario Kart works. Like because they you... tried so hard with a lot of things. They just dropped the ball on that and a few other things, but they dropped the ball. Like I on can't, the Mario I Kart. can't understand why. Donkey Kong Country was like inexplicably Mario Kart themed. You know what I yeah, think? it almost it almost feels like they were supposed to be in a mine cart because that's something you do in the DKC games. Yeah, you, you mine cart levels. Mm-hmm. That's kind of the like most popular mine cart levels in video game history, right? Um, mm-hmm. But it seems like it really, at least for that scene, felt like someone was like, "No, what if it was a Mario Kart specifically for Mario Kart 8? And yep. then they were like, "I'm sorry, Pauline." Oh. There it goes. Um, do you want me to no, move that? No, that's good. Okay. You're good. Um, the cat's not allowed in here anyway, so I'll clean that up before she... Yeah, I fidget. Hold hold that thought for one second. Sneeze it into your shirt. Yes. <laughs> sneeze the thought right sneeze in there. Sneeze the thought into your shirt and out of your brain. <laughs> She's not going to sneeze now. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, what was it? Why, why is it they're like, we're going to war. I know what to get. Get the carts. <laughs> Get them out here. Yeah. If there's one but thing that they they're were good ready. for, it's war. They yeah, showed they... up and they were like, oh, they got the carts. We're doing cart warfare. Get in the carts. But why did they shoot? Why Why? Why were the items shot out of things? That's also not how Mario Kart works. Also, uh, Koopa turned into a blue shell, implying oh, yeah. that every time yeah. you throw a blue shell in Mario Kart, there's a living being inside, which, no. <laughs> which com- but which they kamikazes. showed green shells and stuff, right? And they weren't. there was no Koopa in them. No. T- say what you had to say. I'm sorry. I think this is like... You know what I think? I think this is a whole thing to <laughs> to prepare the way for Mario Kart X. Mario Kart X. Y- yeah. Because now there's too much stuff to do a 9 and 8. So now they have to rebrand the entire thing as Mario Kart X slash 10. This movie? Yeah. What? No, this she she she. I think she's anticipating, like, next E3 season, or this E3 season, we'll get a r- reveal for a new Mario Kart Oh no! If the new if the, if they make a new Mario Kart and it's like inexplicably like movie world themed, that I'll w- be I would really they, hate that. Yeah, they're still doing the uh, the DLC. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. They're probably not going to make it for another like three years or something. And hopefully, we'll have all forgotten that they did this with Mario Kart in this Mario movie. <laughs> <laughs> I would have uh, liked seeing like more of the Yoshi world. Oh yeah. Too. I like, think I think that's coming up cuz like I don't know why Yoshi was the big end credit stinger cuz Yeah, they like, already spoiled like yeah, live action not live action. Well, they showed Yoshis. Yeah. 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 That's yeah, what I'm no, saying. No, they showed other Yoshis wha- like but the they didn't whole show thing the about Yoshi. the whole thing about Yoshi is that he's not special. He's just one of many like you meet Yoshi and you're like, "What's this cute little dragon?" And then you play enough Mario games and you're like, "Oh, there's a fuck thousand of Yoshis. This is just the one that's friends with Mario. Right. I, I, I don't know. Oh, yeah. What was the um the scene that made you emotional? Because we wanted to, oh, like... Oh, you were going to give your guess. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was going to give Everyone want to guess? guess? Just because this is going to be split up into two podcasts. Right. Uh, let me explain it again. We saw D&D, Honor Among Thieves, and the Super Mario Brothers movie in one day. Uh, I like to cry during movies and get super emotional. Um... <laughs> Uh, there was one scene across the whole entire movie viewing experience that made me tear up. What are your guesses? Uh, uh, you, you go first. Can okay. I say? I, th- oh. I thought that when Luigi was being captured and he looked back on the fortress when he was when he and Mario were like babies. Oh, okay. And like Mario stood up for him. Was that it? Or I will not reveal until uh, everyone okay. else. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What is your What is your guess? I think I'm going back. It wasn't the Mario movie I was thinking of. There was a scene that I got a bit emotional in the D&D movie, and it was um, s- one of the scenes of him reminiscing about his wife. Okay. Oh, Some, the, the dragonfly like scene? That. What was it? The dragonfly scene where, like, they're, they're like, hiding and then... It might have been that. Yeah. yeah, there was there was some scene there that got me, and I thought... I forgot what scene it. We watched a lot of film mm. that yes. day, uh, and it was that scene. So I apologize. I guess I guess that'll be my guess. You, 
Do you have a guess? Um, it was Jimbo's, but then I also thought of like, um, oh my god, what was it? <laughs> the superstar. Yeah, the superstar. When the, like, like they get the superstar oh, and like okay. the music k- k- kicks in and the, it's like the the the, the, the big hill of Splash Mountain. Yeah. If you will. <laughs> um, it was the it was none of those. Ooh. Um, it was the weirdest. It was. Right after the beginning, right after he goes over his whole backstory in Dungeons and Dragons, when they're like showing the like title sequence, they're they're panning over like a bunch of like maps. Oh yeah, oh. yeah. Indiana Jones style. That is when I started to tear up. Really? And I think mm. like the it was just the music swelling and it wasn't music I was nostalgic for. It was all new music for that movie. But I was just like I think I was just like overwhelmed by like, wow, they're really doing it. They're really doing a D and D movie, and I'm like, I'm watching it. And it was like the, the CGI maps that got me there. I don't, I don't know why. So by proxy, I win because I was the closest. Um. Yeah, you win. Uh, uh, you get the drink at least. Yeah, you win. Um, AMA on, in chat. <laughs> <laughs> that free thing that everybody yeah. has right now. I can't what were you trying to do? I was just going to make you hydrate <laughs> Oh, with my infinite points. Oh, I got it. Pauline said I get to drink your piss. She <laughs> thought nobody heard, but I heard. I, okay. I don't want that. I don't either. <laughs> okay. I'm just, nobody else heard her. I'm, I think Jimbo did and he ignored it because he's a normal person. But I need people to know that she said that. Um, just trying to keep that joke going. Okay, oh, well. so if I may, um, oh wait, now now we have a hydrate from Mason. I, wow, Bob, okay. I just okay. drank the rest of, rest of my water. Oh, so oh no! I oh. just drank the rest of my water. You need to get more water then. No, you got to get more water. Or start filling it with something I else. Did three consecutive hydrates. Well, we when people have done them in the past, we've only honored one of them. So if it's like that was two we, more. We, we can we like had a conversation about how piss was going to dehydrate you would it <laughs> count if you drank it since Ooh. it's not actually no. hydrating great point yeah look at the claws he's, <laughs> he's bringing into this okay i would like to complain about the super mario Bros. okay movie. okay yes this um, is my biggest actual complaint about the movie yeah w- there was way too much uh licensed 80s music i'll oh, give yeah. and yeah. I, I will take it a step farther because i now that i've seen the movie i was looking into it um the entire score is out uh on the internet you can listen to it um and there are some really cool tracks that they just cut out because they oh, really? wanted holding out for a hero to play instead of the music that the people who composed the movie wrote yeah, oh that's and, and wow. like the mar universe is so good with music like, oh yeah, my it's good yeah. if you have and if yeah sorry oh, oh, yeah um if you have like like any track from one of the galaxy games like they're completely like orchestral yeah right those would have been like any of those would have been a good choice but i mean like hearing like Bonnie Tyler was kind of weird to me. Like I just got thrown off, and yeah. also um, Aha was yeah. when they entered. Yeah, the, like I, I, I was confused. Maybe There's too much good Mario music for that nonsense. Well, if yeah, I exactly. can if I can spin this around and talk about something I really what? did like about can, this movie. Can I just movie. do one thing? Oh yeah, sure. I mean, '80s is when like Mario became like like that's the era. So maybe that they're catering to that. Oh no, absolutely. That's, that's absolutely yeah. yeah, that's, that's absolutely true. it. It was just there was too much of it. Like I would there was one '80s song, and I was like, all right, and then there was like. Literally five more. Like I, I, like, I would have kept kidding? the the Brooklyn, the, the BC Boys one, because like it's appropriate. They're in Brooklyn. Yeah. yeah. But then that's it. Um, or whenever they're in just in Brooklyn, because right. I mean, makes more sense. But I if mean, a, during the Donkey Kong thing, it was yeah, that weird. Didn't yeah, that was it was really weird. Um, but if I could flip it, talk about my favorite thing about the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, whenever they were using Mario Mario music, it was like very cool like there was a lot of mario music in this movie there was like i think they said there was like over 130 like like motifs as it were um but it was just like it wasn't just like we all saw this movie they played the overworld theme like a hundred times but it was also like there was music from mario one three world there was music from galaxy there was music from odyssey there was music from donkey the entire donkey kong like rap from uh, yeah. Donkey Kong yeah. 64 was in it. There was Luigi's Mansion music. There yeah. was technically Kid Icarus music. Oh, yeah. oh, there yeah. was a, 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 a Mario Kart 8 music specifically, mm-hmm. which was really cool because um, I didn't expect that. I ex- expected like that one Mario Kart song <coughs> that I that I absolutely love from the oh, original yeah. one. Um, 
I did not expect like that menu music oh, from yeah. Mario Kart 8 to show up. Oh, yeah, it was while like, they're building the cars. It was, like, that was prominently cool. featured. It was like yeah. the only sound the movie was making for a good like 15 seconds. It was cool. There was there was music from Mario Galaxy. Um, it was it was cool. There was a lot of music. Mario has really great music, yeah. and it was all like pretty good. I don't know. I I that was my favorite part because I gotta say when I was watching uh, this movie started. And well, t- the whole you know commercial is happening, and we'll talk about that more in a second. But the commercial happens, and then after, and then they're playing the music from the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, uh, which was in the trailer. But it's still pretty cool that they did that. And then the whole Brooklyn scene before they entered the Mushroom Kingdom, I was just like in this state. I was somewhere between like completely catatonic and like I should have smoked weed before watching this movie <laughs> and then like as soon as he entered the mushroom kingdom they started playing mario music i was like oh hold on mario's happening i was just like so bored at the nothing that was happening in the in the intro to the that's like, brooklyn part really funny because that's one of my favorite parts about this movie. really the, the, i the, loved the... getting the background on uh the mario family Interesting. yeah they, i was surprised when they actually showed him the two like their family. Yeah, yeah it was, it yeah. was I cool. thought that was awesome. One thing that's missing, where's Wario and La- Waluigi? Waluigi? Maybe yeah. in the sequel. <laughs> in the sequel, right. Yeah, right. But, like, why weren't they at the family dinner? Maybe they're, like... I don't think they're... Would they, would, you don't um, think they're, like, real? You think they're... Maybe they would be Bowser's creations. Yeah, that would be interesting. Yeah, they never say where Wario and Waluigi come from. Literally, Waluigi was invented because Wario needed a partner for tennis doubles. Right. Oh. Um, but, but like, like, canonically, they're all cousins, isn't that? Oh, really? I don't think that's really? canonical. I think that might be, like, fan speculation. I They might be, like, I don't know what they are. I don't know what they are. I was under the impression they were all related. Me too. But maybe not. Seemingly not. Maybe maybe it'll they'll do a clone thing when mm. i was a kid i always figured they were like weird botched clones that could right. be the case yeah but also um the the highlight for me from the uh brooklyn uh uh part was uh seeing pauline yeah, yeah. not this pauline. oh not, right, not, not right, me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but the the that pa- was cool pauline that uh you rescue in in donkey fr- kong right yeah. I, I, th- I think she is the mayor just because like we Obviously, we, we watched oh, yeah, it again. Watched it. Yeah, yeah did it? I think she's like it doesn't say that she's mayor, but she's definitely like a, a leader. Yeah, like she, she's in the 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 coat and whatnot. So. She's also mayor in the in Odyssey. I think that yeah. was what they were referring in, to. In so. New Donk City, which is like obviously modeled after New York City. Wario found Waluigi on Craigslist. <laughs> Basically, yeah, more or less. <laughs> Need tennis doubles partner <laughs> must be willing to change name <laughs> also needs to make weird noises yeah. needs to be a weirdo yeah just weirdo weird in noises. general also name start with w question mark right <laughs> well that's what i'm saying he waluigi's name was like robert and wario was oh, like yeah. all right now that we're a team we, you got to be called waluigi <laughs> see those two idiots over there <laughs> yeah. how can we make see mine's like that guy's name right how can we make yours like that guy's name <laughs> i know let's what noise do you like to make? Wah! Yeah. <laughs> Let's put that in front of it. Do you know, if you don't care, just you, I'll stop talking, but do you know the origin of why he's called Wario? War. No, so wa in Japanese means bad. Oh. But it means, it means both versions of bad. So it means bad as in evil, but bad also bad as in like shitty. Oh, okay. So it's like oh. bad Mario, but also bad, bad Mario. Mario. <laughs> Interesting. That's, That's pretty really good. cool. I thought it was That's just good. like they wanted to have him like an inverted version oh. of Mario, so they just flip him upside down. It works, it works on, on so, so many well, levels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's great. No, Mario is great. And then they shit all over the floor when they <laughs> wanted to, when they needed a partner for doubles. <laughs> Couldn't just partner him with a shy guy. Oh. <laughs> you just made the shy guy noise. The, the, <laughs> the shy guys. <laughs> I like the shy guys cameo though. Yeah, like, yeah. the way cool. the way they appeared in the what is it the castle? I oh, guess. in the yeah. Luigi's in the haunted mansion. mansion. That, yeah. that was really that was really cool. You call it the Luigi's mansion mansion section, well, which they I the music. Yes, they yeah. absolutely did. But then he goes into like like uh, world one level one of a Mario castle. Yeah. Oh yeah. He doesn't complete it, and that pissed me <laughs> off. Where they made a point of being like, "See, the Bowser flag's still there. He didn't finish it." <laughs> um. That was a great spot and great potential for for making a mansion, making a ghost mansion. Mm. Put King Boo in there. Make it all an illusion. 
Yeah. Right. Um, I feel like that scene was wasted well, on, like... Well, this movie uh, was way too quick. I think you, yeah. you, 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 you tap into something that a lot of people are complaining about. This movie which was too fucking quick. Everything happened so quickly. Yeah. And, like, extend that Luigi scene. Like, obviously, you wanted Luigi captured for most of the movie. Then Mario gets to rescue him. And it, it, that was uh, pretty cool, honestly. Um, that whole, like, ending sequence before they get back to Brooklyn. I, I like that a lot. Um, but, like, extend that out. Like... Make it, like you said, make it a reference to everything spooky from Mario. Make it a right. Luigi's Mansion reference and a castle and a ghost house. Poultry. Yeah. All in Poultry. one yeah. thing, you know? Poultry guy. What, what's his name? Poultry Pop? Yes. Pult- yes. Pult- Pult- there's Pult- actually Pult- a couple of them. Oh, yeah. oh really? Yeah, there's... Yeah. Oh, I thought, I thought you meant in the movie. I was like, oh, they... No, 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 no. There's, a, there's a couple different Luigi's Mansion ghost gotcha. dogs. One of them straight up a villain. Oh. But the other two are, are like, <laughs> companions, I think. I've never played Luigi's Dark Moon. I don't think anyone has. It was a 3DS oh, exclusive. No, no I, I played it. it was, oh, you did? Yeah, it was fun. Um, is it the same dog? I don't know if it's the same dog, but I do remember there being one. Well, okay. I'll, I'll look it up. I don't yeah, know no, no, no worries. Um, I I like the Brooklyn stuff. I like the background on Mario. Um, You got to talk about oh, the yeah. voices because that's okay. your I've biggest. I'm holding off because I wanted to save room to talk about everything else. That's fair. They're not the same dog. No. Interesting. Okay. Interesting yeah. choice. So many dogs. Because they don't really introduce the dog in three. How right. many dogs did Luigi kill? Ooh. I think that's the question. He didn't we need kill to ask him. He just How do you know? He's there. How do you know? <laughs> he just meets them. Everybody <laughs> shut up. How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> he just meets them. Oh, he just meets them? Yeah. Oh, what a coincidence. He's met like four dead dogs. You, you think Luigi has the guts to kill a dog? Listen, here's what I'm I saying. saw. I time out. <laughs> I saw him almost kill a dog in this movie. Oh, a real dog. Yeah, you're <laughs> right. You have a oh, yeah. shit argument because of this movie we are reviewing right now. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, but it's almost, um, almost though. And that was because the dog was attacking him. Okay, who, that would have been a way better after the credits scene. You, <laughs> see, a, you see a ghost dog. <laughs> and it's oh, that yeah. dog. And it's that's, that dog, ooh, yeah. If it was made for adults, though, right? <laughs> like, clearly made for kids. It's a ghost dog. It finds the Yoshi shell. If you really want Yoshi <laughs> oh, okay. in the after the credits scene. <laughs> uh, ooh, that would have been like, ooh, I like that little addition to that after the credits scene. That dog doesn't make it. That scene ends hard cut. They don't get the dog the owners open the door hard cut that scene's over uh, yeah. no save dog after the credit scene ghost, ghost of dog that dog sniffing around finds the Yoshi Ooh. egg it starts to crack I think that would have been that's... too upsetting though oh for kids absolutely oh, yeah. Yeah. horrendous <laughs> idea for kids that's too dark yeah you make a Mario movie for adults though that's a great <laughs> addition um, you want a Mario movie for adults boy do I oh boy oh no that's a Mario movie for nobody <laughs> um, but yes okay let's talk about the voices this movie, I'm so glad I know where to put my anger. <laughs> because for months now, I've been putting my anger on Chris Pratt, unjustfully. Mm. Mm. So let me go back. Let me rewind. Yeah. Again, Illumination, poor choice of production for this uh, for this movie. Yeah, um, set, up, set up an entire yeah. timeline. Yeah. <laughs> of my aggravation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So... They announced a Super Mario movie's coming out in, mm-hmm. like, 2017. I don't know. They announced this movie <laughs> a long yeah, time a ago. a while ago, yeah. Um, and for the longest time, they were, like, not announcing who's voicing Mario. And we, you and my, me are sitting here, and we're like, well, yeah, because why would you? We all know who it's going to be. <laughs> yeah. Like like they didn't announce um, Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan for the Obi-Wan show uh, you right away. To. Yeah. Get over get who's it, who's gonna play Obi Wan? Um, there was uh, there was there was a moment where it was like, hey, guess what, idiots? It's gonna be you and McGregor, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just a long pregnant pause of like <laughs> of like two weeks, like, and they like, were like, by the way, it's you and McGregor, and everybody's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah of course, I knew that. Um, then they announced Chris Pratt, mm-hmm. and. So many. Well, then you have to talk about the day after when Chris Pratt was like, "It's a me, Mario." That's not the voice. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's a me, Mario. Ma- Mario uh, is the is the thing that he made, which like set him up for failure in my eyes immediately. Because now I'm looking at him, and I'm like, "Okay, you said it's not the voice. I believe you." <laughs> yeah. Then let's fast <laughs> forward to the trailer comes out with. Wahoo! It turned out to be the voice. Huh? It turned out. It to turned be out voice. to be yeah. the voice, and that I'm fucking, sitting here. That fucking <laughs> meme song, the one from Earthbound, where it's like do 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 do, boom, 
and it's like, <laughs> turns out it was the voice. <laughs> and now I'm sitting here raging at Chris Pratt because I'm like, you <laughs> asshole. One guy has voiced this dude. Well, also, he's, he's just so easy to yell at. Well, these <laughs> days, <just> yeah. <laughs> um, back when he was on uh, Parks, Parks and Rec to, or, or, or Gar- Guardians of the Galaxy 1, that's a different Chris Pratt than yeah. what we're dealing with today. Now he's <laughs> buffing Mario and Garfield. And Garfield. But, but, but only enough shitting but on only, Chris Pratt. But only because God says he can. <laughs> enough shitting on Chris Pratt. Right. Because now... Turns I, out. <laughs> now I sit my butt down to watch this movie. The movie starts. I do not hear his Mario voice at all to begin with. And then this commercial begins. The commercial. This commercial that I've seen in the trailer. Right. The one with the theme song from the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. And I... I had a moment where I couldn't process things. I I was overstimulated during that commercial because for one, my like favorite song in the world started playing, mm-hmm. and I'm just immediately I'm always going to be. Like, oh, you're talking Ooh. about the original viewing of this commercial? No, no, no. I'm oh, talking okay. in the theater. Okay. The song comes on, and even though I knew it was coming, I was just like, "Yes, it's this <laughs> song." Um, doesn't I'm a des- kid again? Yeah. <laughs> um, and then. They start doing the faux Italian accents. Mm -hmm. And I was like, time out, everybody. I've done this a lot in this podcast. (laughs) I was like, time out. He can do the voice? And it was exceptional. Well, that was my biggest complaint because, like... Do you know what we're referring to? I'm sorry. You you looked a little confused. Do you know what we're referring to? What, like the 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 very very beginning? The The very start of the movie. Yeah. When they're doing, like, the trailer for their podcast. And they do the fake Italian accents in the trailer. That That was my biggest, like, what the fuck is happening. You and I looked at each other. Because literally everybody can do a pretty okay Mario voice. He did an ex- He did a exceptional one at first i thought it was charles martin yeah, was me doing too. That, i know but then it's like wait he mm. would have been credited as that right he did an exceptional mario and immediately now that trailer ends the first the, real line in the movie I'm, i like my brain just like sparks are flying because i'm like what wait a minute <laughs> wait a minute that's not did they f- my immediate thought was did they fuck with, did us? They fuck with is us is he yeah. doing this voice the whole movie and i was so excited mm-hmm. and i and so I'm watching this. I'm like, whoa, that's awesome. Wait, Charlie Day's doing an awesome Luigi in this accent, too. And I'm just sitting there like, <laughs> like, uh, uh. And then, and then they, like, you know, pan out. I No, not pan. I forget what this action is. Zoom, Zoom out. Um, this is the moment Mason's been waiting for the whole podcast. <laughs> and, and then um, I almost said Brad Pitt. Chris Pratt. Then Chris Pratt started doing the voice, and I was like, oh, no. And then, so I start coming down for a second off of this high. Yeah. Then they turn around. Well, it's important to it's important to point out sure. that the conversation that Mario and Luigi are having, the first actual line in the movie is specifically about how the Mario voice that we all know and love sucks and is yes. too over the top. And that's a conversation we're going to have. I'm giving you my initial experience. Then that's a whole conversation we have to unravel because I right. have a lot to say on that conversation. Yeah. Then they immediately have just an over hyperactive, like joke of a character turnaround. And guess what, kids? It's the voice of Mario who's voicing this dumbass character. And you you had a good theory. You were like, oh, he's probably playing Jump Man. Like yeah. from the original, like we all know Mario was called Jump Man at one point. But we looked it up and no, he's just a random Dude, voiced by with Charles a, Martin. With a slight, his character has a slightly racist name. I'll say it. They called him Giuseppe. It's Giuseppe. Never, yeah, never called. refer to him as Giuseppe in the movie. But fuck you, Italians. I guess <laughs> we're gonna name him Giuseppe. And it was, it was really, it was really like even watching the movie before we talked about it, I was like, he's got to be some deep cut because immediately after that, they have an interaction with Foreman Spike, a real character yeah, from right. the video game Wrecking Crew. Mm-hmm. Until so I was like, oh, Charles is probably playing like guy from this until you told me absolutely canonically no it's not there was no convincing me otherwise that that right. wasn't the first interpretation right. of Mario. because the diner they're in is also like inexplicably punch out and duck hunt themed yeah and the giuseppe character is playing a fictional video game called Jumpman. He's yeah like playing a, a, a fake version of the original donkey kong so it wouldn't be the weirdest thing in the world is this character that randomly showed up in his voice by Charles Martin. He was also a deep cut reference, but seemingly not. No, which makes it even worse. So 
here we are. Uh, Illumination looked me squarely <laughs> in the eyes, and they said, well, I know you've been mad at Chris Pratt. Funny thing, he does an awesome voice <laughs> yeah. of Mario. When um, we want him. When, yeah. we, <laughs> when we tell him to, and then they like shut the zipper on his mouth, <laughs> and they're like, but he's not going to right now. You got all you're going to get out of us. Also, that voice is dumb, and if you like it, you're dumb too. But, is essentially but, what they what they gave me. But just so you're not mad, didn't work. Just so you're not <laughs> mad, we're gonna have the original voice of Mario saying in that voice that it's great. <laughs> just to it, that's not to make me not mad. That's to um, patronize me. <laughs> that's like it's okay, kids. And then they pat Charles Martinet on the head. They're like it's okay, kids. They give him six. They throw him sixty dollars. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and exactly. Then, so I don't know if this is. If they this... sneeze in it and then throw it at him. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this is, if you want me to bring this up now, but I just, I did want to bring up that, uh, and we, I don't even think you or I even noticed this, but Charles Martinet also did the voice of Mario and Luigi's father. Yeah, I, di- I knew that after, because we had done a deep dive afterwards. Um, that doesn't make me feel better. Oh, no, I just wanted to yeah. say, like, like, they get, the, they needed more than one character. It, <laughs> he, it wasn't just that weird reference. He was actually an important figure in these characters' lives, which was kind of cool. Like, the voice of Mario is the... I, but I've, I've thought about this. Yeah, I've thought about this go more than it. anything. That would have been cool. Like, I guarantee you that was Illumination's way of thinking that they're being respectful to Charles Martinet. Well, he's the character's father. That would have been cute if it was um, creator of Mario. Shigeru Miyamoto. Mm-hmm. Shigeru Miyamoto. That would have been cute then. Uh. This dude fucking voices Mario. <laughs> and not he... only does he voice Mario, this isn't like he can do it as a bit and then he's done. I've met this guy twice. He doesn't shut the fuck up as Mario. <laughs> yeah. He can speak full sentences as and Mario. The other thing that I think we're not even talking about. That's, sorry if I'm spitting that's, on you. No. That's <laughs> he's in the he's this. in the splash zone. I'm sorry. So, I'm getting very emotional. So if I can just quickly compare Charles Martinet as Mario to Mark Hamill as the Joker. Mark Hamill has voiced the Joker uh, like hundreds of times over the last 19 years. Un- uh, unless Lego or Warner Brothers is like, do you want some cash? He's done. He said he's done voicing Joker. But we're making a fucking Batman thing, voice Joker in it, right? But the thing with Charles Martinet is Charles Martinet voiced Mario in Mario 64. And has continued yeah. to yeah. voice Mario stopped. to this day, and will be voicing Mario in yeah. Mario Odyssey two and three. You know, like yeah. in these unannounced games that that don't like. Uh, he's he's he is not stopping no. anytime soon. This is his life. He is Mario. He does <laughs> right. nothing else except unless. By the way, TikTok. I'm I'm talking to TikTok <laughs> now. I didn't say bad dragon from Skyrim. I said that, <laughs> that T H A T that because people were commenting like. Uh, did he play Skyrim because he's not the bad dragon? I didn't say bad dragon. I said that dragon from oh, Skyrim. Oh, yeah. He's actually the only good guy dragon in Skyrim. I'm sure he is. I didn't play the game. Right. I didn't, which is why I didn't specify what kind of dragon. <laughs> I just said, unless he's playing that one dragon he plays, right. he is Mario. That is his life. That's what he does. Parthenux is the name of the dragon. Just, sure. Just to cover Just call Charles Martinet. Um, <laughs> but, oh, and fun fact, Parthenax is actually Charles Martinet backwards. No, it's not. No, it's not. Of course okay. it's not. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. I was like, it starts with a P, I think. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's uh, a it's a it's a silent P. A lot of people call him Charles, oh. Charles Martin Nepp, but they're wrong in Charles Martin Nepp. I see. I see. Um so this movie made all the wrong decisions for me. In that regard. Uh, in every regard re- referring to the voice. The voice of Mario and Luigi. I'll throw Luigi in there too. Nothing against Charlie Day. He actually did a great job yeah. with the regular Brooklyn accent. Like I believed him as mm. I actually I, see, I didn't mind Charlie Day's commercial voice or his real voice. That's I what I'm saying. I real. I didn't mind Chris Pratt's either. I didn't mind yeah. Chris Pratt's either once we were in the film, but the whole time I'm sitting there like this is a good Here's here's my tier, right? Charles Martinet number one. Yes. Chris Pratt doing a Charles Martinet impression number two. Then like number six is Chris Pratt mm. doing his normal voice. Yeah. And that's what what I got for ninety nine point six percent of this movie. Yeah. Um, they somebody made a bad decision somewhere. 
Well, and it, then it they just, continued to make bad decisions. It just seems like maybe not even bad, right? It just seems like a bunch of very odd decisions because right. Jack Black is clearly pitched down a bit. Oh but yeah, he and Michael Key. I read in an interview they refused to pitch him up. That's his actual right. voice. Yeah, which is nuts. Oh, and then crazy. you and then he tried so hard. And now we have to talk about Seth Rogen because oh, yeah. they specifically. He said that they told him not to do a voice. They said, Just keep your... do, hi- do your voice as Donkey Kong. But you brought up a great point. Doesn't mean Donkey Kong always has to laugh and laugh no. like Seth Rogen laughed. Uh, oh, my brother. At work, the chat function for me only works if I highlight my message. How weird. Has my brother checked his text yet? So, well, that's me. Uh, I'll, I'll doesn't doesn't usually check check texts while oh, we're in the yeah, middle of a podcast. It's because it's a bunch of nonsense. He this was like an hour ago. He texted me, "Drink the car, cat. Hydrate the cat. Drink cat." So I don't know what the oh. fuck he's on about. There's yeah, no, there's he's no cat in this room. Not only that, but we don't we don't usually uh, go through text while we're while we're on podcasts. Yeah, but so here's my thought process on this very upsetting topic about this movie. Um, which is part of the reason I'm still on the fence on whether I liked it or not. Um, they made the, this, the decision not to go with Charles Martinet. Mm-hmm. And it seems like, having watched this movie, that it's for one of two reasons. Either they were like, we want Mario to feel a bit more real. We're going to have him do a... Uh, we're uh, basically going to make his story an, an isekai. Which sure. is like the, the Japanese... It's a whole genre in Japanese where like you take a normal person, mm-hmm. throw them into a fantasy world, and have them survive. Yeah. And we want a more realistic approach, and and therefore he should have a more realistic voice, right? Um, then there's the flip side of this argument, which I kind of believe more based off of how they chose to go about the delicate decision of we're gonna have Charles Martinet in this movie, and we're gonna make fun of the Mario voice, which is these plebs just aren't sophisticated enough to understand that we're trying to make Mario more serious <laughs> and we're going to get we're going to make that argument known right away you like my my comic book guy from from <laughs> the Simpsons voice yeah, cuz that's who I picture yeah. making this fucking decision for Mario cuz and you know what it was a bad one worst decision ever <laughs> to continue that joke right right uh, <laughs> yeah um and it was just bad. It was a bad choice. The whole thing was a bad choice. They started bad. They ended bad. And, the, and, the, and they gave us every opportunity. They were like, you like Charles Martinet? He's in the movie, not Mario. Do you like Chris Pratt? That's cool. He can do an excellent Mario voice, but guess what? He's we're not going to have him do it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, that, and then I was just left with Chris Pratt being like, let's go. And <laughs> it's like, yeah. cool. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. I bet you I know, Giuseppe was... wasn't even a character. Charles Martinet just walked up in there, started doing the Mario voice, <laughs> and they were like, all right, we'll, we'll do something with it. And, you know, I don't put the blame for all that weirdness squarely on Illumination's shoulders because I know he's the, the father of our childhoods. He's the creator of Mario and Zelda and all that. But, like, Shigeru Miyamoto, in the last, like, 10 to 15 years, every time he walks up to the bat with a – executive decision it's usually pretty terrible and that could also be the case some that's why i keep saying somebody somebody right. made a horrible decision well i actively dislike illumination so i think i feel like i've been quick to be like how dare they but it could be him too. it could be because mm. we know he, he we know he had like direct involvement in the production of this movie mm. i'm actually glad i don't know if it was for the dungeons and dragons movie or this mario movie but they were they were um Pitching, they were they were showing a trailer for their new movie. They weren't pitching it; they were showing a yeah. trailer for it. And they were like it's called Migration. Yeah, yeah. And they were like from the creators of this, 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 and they showed every Illumination IP. And I was like, wow, I like one of those. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Yeah, you're a fan of Sing, right? I like Sing. Oh, Sing is good. Yeah. I, what one? What one do you like? Despicable Me. Well, just the first one. The first one. The first yeah. I like pretty classic. I like, I'll the, give I like the first and the second one of those. Yeah, the second one's I don't never seen the second one. The, the third one looks really bad, but I mean, like. And then, of course, they have the Minions IP, which is, like, yeah. a whole thing. <laughs> but I, I, um, you're right. It could not just be squarely on them. It, for my, for my money, they have a pretty bad track record themselves. Yeah. Although, your bunny companion from oh, yeah. D&D did make an appearance on screen. He did. Yeah, he did. And he talked, and in the voice that he talks in. He did. That part's not my choice. <laughs> um, you decided that. And, uh-huh. he and that bunny, uh-huh. I saw that bunny on screen, and I was like, oh, 
there's that mini that I have. Uh-huh. <laughs> Not really my character, but there he is. <laughs> um, uh, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, I, I like the Brooklyn stuff. I liked, I liked a decent amount of the, like, in Mario World stuff. The, the, the carts really got me, and there should have been more worlds. Yeah. It right. feel like, the, right. the movie felt yeah. like they gave us... It gave the vibe of this is the whole map. Here's everything. And I was, was looking. Small. I was yeah. yeah it was small, small, and I was like, that's less islands or whatever you want to call right. it than a single Mario game. Yeah. Also, when he was in the castle and there were paintings on the wall, I was like, make a reference to it. <laughs> Somebody oh, jump true. into one of those effing paintings. Or just ha- were any of the paintings on the wall? They didn't like levels? shimmer. No. 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 Which is fine. I'm fine with that. Yeah. But like, make them shimmer or something. Show that they're like portals. That would be really cool. A this subtle, castle yeah. is from. I did, Mario 64. Um, I did notice, I don't know if any of y'all noticed, it was like very briefly on screen, but when Toad is walking Mario through town and he's like, this guy's brother's going to die, oh. in the back you can see a cap shop from Odyssey. Oh, like oh. Where, where you go to oh I outfits, didn't see that. And I was just like, that has implications. <laughs> go put on one of those hats. Right, right, You'll right. be way more powerful. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the funniest details that may have gone over some people's heads is like, they passed the shop with um, a toad selling, like, something. Antiques? And, yeah. Yeah. And it was, like, he says later on, like, it does work. You have to blow into it. Yeah. And that's, like, yeah. one of the, the N64 Oh, yeah. yeah. That was, I, I thought that was cute. And also, yeah. Yeah, they, like, specifically warn you to not blow into the right. car. Yes. Right. Oh, yeah. Right. Um, well, see, that, I, I don't know. That kind of, like, I don't know. Because really there was niche. another there was another moment where I was, like, that's not how it works, and you know it's not how it works. Is when he calls the Tanuki suit a raccoon oh, yeah. suit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then Luigi sees and it. Nobody and nobody corrects him. Well, he says raccoon, and then Luigi's like, "Are you a bear?" I thought there was gonna be a third beat. Right, yeah. right. Which is like, actually, it's called a Tanuki, but that never came. Um, actually, no. But uh, it, the fucking the yeah. the song that is playing during that scene is called Tanuki Trouble. <laughs> oh, you were uh, you were telling me about this in the car too. Yeah. yeah um. Yeah, in the third game, like I mean, it's already like overridden with details in the movie, anyways. But like, it would be it would have been pretty cool if like he turned into a statue at one point. Because in the third game, or I guess Super Mario Bros. Three, if you hold down while you have the Tanuki suit, you can turn into a statue. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. that's neat. Yeah. But I mean, like, it's there's already so many details in the movie. Yeah. When honestly, so. when because they had a bunch of power ups in this game, and the Tanuki suit's kind of a weird one, if you're talking like the ones everyone knows about, because mm. she. Ice is up, right? And yeah. That is a real thing from, like, two or three of the games. He gets to the Tanuki suit. I really thought that Donkey Kong was going to get the frog suit. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, but he did. Uh, it was cool to see him powered up with a fire flower because that's, that's never yeah, happened before. Yeah, yeah. I that's thought that first, was neat. The first time visually that's happened on screen. And he even reacted such as such where he was just like, oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I yeah, have yeah. a fire yeah. flower. Everybody got a fire flower except for except Mario. Mario. Yeah, yeah, interesting choice to yeah, intentionally not have choice. Mario. There was even the ice flower. Yeah, the yeah. Peach uses. Is, and then like, yeah, they just don't give any other power ups except the cat suit and the Tanuki. Which is suit, which is interesting because it only appears in Super Mario 3D World. So the cat suit was interesting, even because this happened in the trailer too. Because he's a cat, and everyone's like, "Oh my god, you're a cat." But I'm just sitting here like the cat suit is the best power up. And then they, they <laughs> in any of the game. And yeah. then they show it so. And then, uh, of course, they have to add, like, the mini mushroom. Like, it sucks. That <laughs> that was, yeah, yeah, there's that was... a lot of obscure uh, power-ups. I thought movie, that was cool. cool. That I was, thought, no, I that thought was, the that use of it and, yeah. how, and how he does it, that was, like, his way of finding out it does different things. Him not liking mushrooms was, like, the overarching character development for Mario in this game, oh, yeah. though. I mean, <laughs> yeah. in this movie. Yeah. And I, I'm not loving that concept. I just don't it was know just silly. why... I don't care about it conceptually. I'm just like, why is that a thing? Right, it's that's just what I'm saying. It's another weird choice that I'm just like, why do you do that? I yeah. don't know. Here's, I think the, it's, here's, my, here's yeah. the thing about the Super Mario Brothers movie, because we should wrap up uh, like now. Um, it was fine. I, I don't plan on watching it again anytime soon. I enjoyed different aspects of it. It's not what I would have done, I don't think. No, me either. Um the end. That's the. This is kind of my. Like I, I would thoughts. definitely stream it again. Like just for my own. Like oh, I'm feeling nostalgic. Let's do a Mario. Like yeah. Super Mario Brothers movie. But like, like would I see it again in theaters? Now that I've seen it twice. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm, you I think already... I'm, I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
if I was to watch it again, I think I'd just be disappointed in what could have been. Mm. And maybe, you know, I don't know. They've made so much goddamn money that... Oh, there's going to be another there's one. There's absolutely yeah. going to be another one. I'm excited. One. You know Are what's you? Funny? I'll watch the other one. How excited you are to rewatch Mario versus D&D. Oh. I would rewatch D&D right now. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Me too. Yeah, um, I'd watch that again. But I'm I'm sitting here, like, thinking about, like, if I ever, like, I don't know. I might watch Mario again. If I'll I watch to. the next one that comes out. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll watch the next one for sure. Um, Because. Because you like Mario? I do like Mario. That's why I'm yeah. going to watch it. And also Anya Taylor-Joy. Anya Taylor-Joy is pretty cool. Yeah. They got, they got, uh, Pete, they got Peach was fine. Yeah. 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 Peach was Peach fine. Was, we didn't, we let's didn't go talk over about that. Yeah. We didn't talk about Peach at all because she was fine. Yeah, she was, uh, she was good. Jack Black did an awesome Bowser. Yes. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ja- Jack do you Black talk can about voice the song? act. He can. Why was there a song? It's I Jack. Just, that's my whole thing. Uh, I, I think specifically because yeah, because Jack. It's because Jack he's Black. played by Jack Black. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Every yeah. dumb. The internet's blowing up over this song. Yeah, everyone fucking loves they it. Were it saying, wasn't that great. They were saying that it's like, oh, it's up for a best original song at the Oscars. It's and like, it's no. supposed to be. Could be. It's Could be. eligible. It yeah. wasn't definitely a joke. <laughs> it was. It was. Yeah. For one, it was definitely a joke. Two, it was okay. Yeah. It wasn't like a banger. No, it really it was felt okay. like someone was like, wait a minute, we've got Jack Black here. We have to have him sing. Right. Has Bowser oh, yeah. ever sang before? No. That's fine. Are we going to have him sing lyrics to a Bowser song? No, just have him fucking riff. <laughs> yeah. I, think- I will say I did like how um, the wizard... Uh, Kamek. Magic Koopa. Magic Koopa. Or oh, Kamek. Kamek. Yeah. Like, that's, yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, th- I liked... Both of them playing Bowser's oh, yeah. theme on the piano. It no, comes that was directly. The underground. It was the underground. Oh, that's theme. what it was. It was yeah. the underground theme that comes directly after that stupid Peaches song. Yeah, but I did appreciate that. Yeah. I thought that was neat. No, there was a lot of, there was a lot of cool stuff. Most of them were like, oh hey, that's neat. Yeah. Uh, Toad, Luigi, Peach, Bowser, all very good. Mario, Donkey Kong, left to be desired. Yeah. yeah. That's fair. But, it's, but it's not I, their fault, though. I even it's not the actor's mind, fault. It's Seth Rogen's fault a little bit. I <laughs> even didn't mind Cranky Kong. I thought he was Oh, fine. yeah, he sounded yeah, fine. Yeah. Um, and the I didn't I did not expect to see the eel from oh, Mario yeah. 64. Yeah, yeah, that caught me off guard. Yeah, that was cool. That was cool. Actually, Seth Rogen made a specific point in saying he didn't want to do his own voice. Isn't that right? Well, he well, he. I think what happened was he rolled up there and was like, "All right, what kind of voice do you want me to do?" And they said, "Yours, please." So not Seth Rogen's <laughs> yeah. fault. Yeah. And also not Chris Pratt's fault. Yeah. Yeah. No, it seems like there was having watched this, taking Charles Marnie out of the equation for a moment. Seems like there was a lot of weird choices, choices, and, and directions, and the terms yeah. of like the voice acting. Yeah, it was. It was yeah. Whoever was in charge of of casting for this movie, and beyond that, whoever was in charge of who's in charge of casting for this movie, mm. bad choices, bad decisions were made. Um, so if there's a sequel, yes, we're thinking Wario, Waluigi, Yoshi. Do we think Daisy? Daisy I would, would love be Daisy. Cool. Mm-hmm. Toadette. I was thinking maybe like they mentioned galaxies. Uh, oh yeah, like Rosalie. Like Rosalina. Yeah, Rosalina. they also you know what? I they also had the Luma too. So. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they're probably they... gonna do a Galaxies thing yeah. for the sequel. I would, I would really like that. That would be cool. I would be down for that. Galaxies plus Strikers, because you gotta do. So. <laughs> yeah, because you have to have a shoe in horn yeah. in one of the weird sports ones for no. No reason. kidding, she's probably not wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, which exactly. is upsetting. No, it's gonna be no. It, here's what they're gonna do. They're gonna they're gonna, they're gonna the, the this movie the promotion for this movie is gonna start. It's gonna be Wario themed. Right. Wario's the new big bad. Then we're gonna watch the movie. It's gonna have Daisy. It's gonna have Waluigi. It's gonna have Rosalina. Half of it's gonna take place in space. There's gonna be a huge mid movie tennis match. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go a step further. I bet you Daisy gets introduced the same way uh, King Bobom did. Just minor character oh, tossed in I would, the background. I would hate that. For a split second. I'm, you know, That's the type of decisions they would make. I'm surprised Th- Daisy wasn't at the wedding because th- Daisy's whole thing is that she's the princess from a different kingdom. I, I think they're saving tennis match. that I was for... just going to say. I said that. Oh, did you yeah. say it? Yeah. Yeah. They're I said having a, big, a tennis I said, match. I said, I said a big, that was my whole, that's why I mentioned all these characters because 
of the whole right. like Waluigi's for doubles thing. Right. In my my thought is Daisy's just watching the tennis match. <sighs> Maybe God. she gets one word. I love how Pauline's getting visibly upset over this n- thing that doesn't exist she's, yet she's <laughs> that favorite. I'm just talking about. Um, but yes, that I I, yeah. I could see them doing something like that. I was gonna ask, who does everybody think the next big bad is gonna be for the for the next? Gotta movie? be Wario. You think Gotta Wario? Because they killed King Babom. Not that it was ever gonna be King Babom, but right. they right. killed him in this movie. King Boo which is, is a crazy. side character, like a minor character. I do mm. hope that. I mean, King Boo is in the next one. Me and too. It, and it like focuses more on Luigi because well, King Boo is like the main enemy. But I, I mean, it does make sense to like. Have here's him what I'm thinking when I say Wario. There, there's been not that many. Mario villains. Mm. There's also been not that many Sonic villains. Right. Both Wario and Knuckles haven't really been villains for the last, like, 20 years. But Knuckles was a villain in Sonic 2, the movie. Right. Mm -hmm. Sure, So I'm thinking maybe that's literally just why I'm thinking that because that just happened. But I'm just, like, thinking, like, make Wario a villain again. And then by the end of the movie, he's not one. Can I put Can I give my theory? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So Kevin's still, like, floating around somewhere. He's still, you know, doing his thing. Who? Kemek. Oh. So he, he, he manages to free Bowser from the, the Mushroom Kingdom. Bowser, f- or maybe he saves Benny, I don't know. But he manages to, like, escape. He's pissed off at Mario, wants revenge. He does, like, this whole, like, mad scientist thing. Maybe the doc- mad doctor from Luigi's Mansion makes an appearance, helps him out. Mm-hmm. Um, makes Mario and Waluigi. Now he's like, okay, minions, do my bidding. They're like, hell no. And now Bowser has to team up, team up with Mario and Luigi to be like, I made these guys to beat you guys, but now they're not listening to me. Can you help me defeat them? Interesting. Yeah, there's there's also a lot to take from the the RPG games. Mm, yeah. If you've ever played yeah. those, because um, one of the games, I mean, it's Bowser's in the story yeah, that I'm thinking of, that they have to kill. Like, it, it's something similar to what Pauline said, but they have to defeat someone that made, like, a clone of Bowser. Yeah. Like, Bowser, Mario, and Luigi, mm. and some other side characters. Yeah. And it's from a character named Fawful. Right, and I, yeah, that's one yeah, of my yeah. favorite games. Um, and uh, there's also other games in this series that's exactly like that. Right. But, yeah. Mason says they're going to make a standalone origin story movie for Wario and Waluigi, <laughs> and then they're going to meet up in future Mario Cinematic Universe movies. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the internet is abuzz with they 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 I they're thinking it. a step further. The, the than internet, that. The inter- yeah, the internet seems to think that Illumination is going to do a Zelda movie and then it's uh, going to all culminate with a Smash Brothers movie. Oh, that I, might wow. be kind of cool. But how yeah. there's 78 characters in Smash or what, whatever. Yeah. There's how no. many of them do you get? Like Kirby's not going to get a movie. Are we going to get a Persona 5 movie? No. I would have rather they make like different movies in different series, but just have them be standalone. Yeah. yeah. Combine them or try to make anything coherent you know, i think i, I agree I guess, if they're gonna do a smash brothers movie there has to be a zelda movie right there has to be a zelda movie yeah. like 58 of those characters are pokemon but right. they, how well, do you do well, it without pokemon that's kind of well actually they did this i was gonna say that's kind of like doing infinity war without the x-men but they did do they that. did do that <laughs> they did done do the yeah, yeah. <laughs> more importantly civil war without the x-men is oh, like yeah. how are you gonna right, pull that right, off right. and they almost they didn't. did um well my other thought is and I know these are different studios, but there is already a Sonic and a Pikachu movie. True. Yeah. Yeah. Both live action. Yeah. But the but the characters aren't the characters. Fair. Are CG. No, that's right. fair. Wildly different uh, animation styles. Right. Which I guess no, doesn't I just, matter. It, it. It. I don't know. It. Yeah. I would. But you're right. There. There. We're never gonna get a Kirby movie or a Star Fox no. movie or yeah. a or a Captain Falcon. They're movie. They're not gonna or make movie. any money. I thought. I think a Metroid movie would be really. Metroid sick, movie though. would be cool would it yeah Metroid no, movies. absolutely yeah. i think as far as like what should we turn into a movie i think it goes mario zelda and then metroid because metroid's right. like really can be really cinematic and don't get me wrong i want a zelda movie i want a zelda movie bad <laughs> i just don't yeah. think setting this up like they were trying to with the classic monsters to make like a smash bros cinematic universe i just i yeah. couldn't see that working because there's too many and not enough of the ips are famous enough for a movie uh, i've already i've already in my head cast the three main characters from the legend of zelda oh oh well ne- we gotta hear it um link is finn wolfhart from oh, stranger yeah. things weren't you joking about that in the car and then i thought about and it then you, and, and then you then thought he'd like, do a really wait. good job <laughs> L- link is finn wolfhart from stranger things sure zelda uh, is Zazie Beats 
the woman who plays Domino in Deadpool, okay. and she was also oh. in Bullet Train. It's for Zelda? Yes. Wildly different age. Is that cool with you? They're usually like relatively the same, the same age. age. This is a. This is just voices. Oh, oh yeah. I'm okay. picturing this live no, action. No, 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 no. no I no, don't no. think that would work live action. And then Ganondorf. Let's all say it together. It's Adam Sandler. Oh. You said that, <laughs> and I still don't know if that would. Oh, it's not a Matthew, joke. Matthew it, Mercer is voicing yeah, Ganondorf in yeah, the new Tears of the Kingdom. Yes, I just I'm heard so about excited. that. Matt, what happened? Matt Mercer is oh. voicing Ganondorf in Tears of the Kingdom. He's gonna. He can do it. He, he's gonna kill yeah, it. Really oh yeah, no, actor. he's he's yeah. gonna do. Great. I have a very distinct Ganondorf voice in my head. In Adam Sandler does not if fit Adam the bill Sandler, for If Adam Sandler, if Adam, here's what I'm saying: watch any Adam Sandler movie where he's being silly and he does like, oh, like he's like yelling, like when he says "You're gonna die, clown." Imagine that, except he's taking it seriously, and then they pitch him down a little bit, like they did with Bowser. I think it I could might be really need good. to. I'm not saying no. I need to. I know what you're talking <laughs> about. I need to hear one of those again, and then I'll maybe I'll be like, ah, okay. My um my my ideal like thing would be like not having a voice because that's his thing. But like if it's animation or like if it's animation, then just have the him use like sign language. You know what they to could communicate. You know what they could do. They could not have him talk. Pay Chris Pratt sixty million dollars <laughs> and just say he's voiced by Chris Pratt. Oh boy. <laughs> Anyway, he says exactly as many lines as Lou Skywalker says in The Force Awakens. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. no less. Don't uh, maybe he grunts. <laughs> Pay him for that. Did Luke Skywalker doesn't even say anything? No, Luke right? Skywalker says nothing. Oh, in Force yeah. I thought you meant um. Oh, um. Last Jedi. I, no, I was thinking how much film he's in. No, oh. it, that, no the exact same yeah, amount of lines. Yeah, he said nothing. He said nothing. nothing. I thought you meant like gets as much screen time as he does. <laughs> no, no, I just wasn't. No. No. Things didn't click. Yeah, no, you're right. He says nothing. And then, exactly. oh my god, sorry, sorry. I just had an epiphany. <laughs> not na, na, Nav what's her name? Navi? The little Navi, yeah, yeah. Navi. Yeah. That's that's got to be Aquafina. Oh my god. <laughs> Listen. Right? right? I'm making this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making this. I'm getting, hang on, let me call Chris Melis Melisandre. Hold on. Also called Ben Wiki. <laughs> ben Wiki, we need to make this Zelda <laughs> movie. He's like, I don't remember you. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, that's going to do it for us. Uh, stream is over. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Our channel is daily uploads from podcast video essays, let's plays to skip. Be sure to watch on Twitch. We stream all our video game and podcast content live at 5 EST every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Our intro is by Brad Kendrick and music by Froggy and the Friendship. Link to all that in the description below. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.